Hey guys, Nick here. I thought I would take a minute since I had mentioned um, that I've been switching over and running the Hobby Wing Speed Controllers. Thought I'd take a minute to kind of give you a quick little walkthrough of the Hobby Wing 160 that I am running in both uh, 700 number one and number two. So um, here's the box that it comes in. Take that off of there, flip it up. Now up here in the lid, uh, this is where you will find your manual, um, some information, you've got the fan. Uh, I personally don't run the fan on my 700s. I don't push them uh, hard enough really to need it. Mine are pretty much running ambient, especially this time of the year. So it is there uh, if you need that. Down here, get that out of the way, down here in the bottom is the ESC. Pull this little cover off, like that. Get that box out of the way, here we go. All right, so here's your speed controller. A um, Couple things that I really like. I love the mounting points. Uh, I'm really past that whole uh, uh, mount it with zip ties thing like I've been doing forever. This has me really spoiled. Uh, it fits great on the goblins on the bottom, just the bottom of the tray. See, I've got a couple nuts up here. Uh, and then in the back to mount it also gives me access to here on the side there is the programming port which i will show you guys in a second and then the status led so i can get to those um, on the side easily motor wires battery wires everything else is pretty self-explanatory we have two uh, servo leads um, coming out of the unit uh, one being your throttle uh, which also does carry the uh, ground and the power for your BEC. We have a supplementary, an additional redundant power and ground for your BEC, and then your signal wire, which we will use for either the external external governor or in the V control and in some other radios, you can actually use that to display your head speed uh, on the main screen, even if you're not using, or even if you are using the Hobby Wing governor, which is really nice. I'm, I'm running the Hobby Wing Governor, the internal one right now, and it's really cool because you adjust your head speed via the ESC output in the V control, you know, but then it's like, ah, oh, crap, I gotta, I have to attack it to find out. Well, you don't need to. You still put all of your gearing information in there um, and then just watch the display on the front of the screen and it will show your current head speed. So there's that. Uh, programming, super simple. I have the Hobby Wing programming box plugged in here. That's it. This one's not wired up yet. I don't need it to be. I do have my motor wires all hooked up. This is just a six cell battery that I'm using now for programming. So we're gonna plug this in. See if you guys can see this and it doesn't get too much glare in here. Uh, we hit the uh, return button. It's gonna connect to the speed controller. Shows the software version in there, shows what um, what speed controller it is, then automatically goes to the first menu. So the first menu is your vehicle mode. Now in this case, I'm going to go over to, we've got Heli Linear, Gov Genius, and Gov Store airplane mode. I'm going to go into Gov Store. That's going to be the one that I personally like to run. So I'll hit enter, save that data, go to the next one. Lipo cells, I just leave it on auto. Why do I do that? Because that way, even though 90% of the time I'm running a 12 cell in this, I can then switch this over and run a six cell setup if I wanna do a super low head speed flight and it's not gonna throw a low voltage alarm then. Uh, cutoff mode is soft cut or hard cut. I personally recommend soft cut. Voltage protection, you know, this is how many volts per cell you want it to, I just leave it on the default of three. I figure if you got it running down that far, you gotta kind of have it coming to you. BEC output, um, this will go up to, let's see what we got, 7.5, 6, 7, 8, 9, eight volts is what it'll go up to. So I'm running the BK 8002s in this. Um, they have ridiculous, plenty, plenty of speed, but we'll go ahead and run them at eight volts anyway because, hey, more is better, right? Uh, okay, so next one is the startup mode. This is basically your spool up, how soft it's gonna spool up, 
Um, stock is 15 seconds. That's a little bit long, but I mean, really, if you haven't done this before, just leave it in the stock settings and that's fine. Now we get into the Gov tuning um, because we are in Gov store mode, which means I'm going to be running the Hobby Wing Governor. Uh, this is your P gain right here. Leave that at default and your I gain uh, value of five, leave that at default. I found them to be very, very close and a, just a great place to start. AR time is auto rotation time. This is gonna be, the way that this speed controller works is when you hit throttle hold, you're gonna set a throttle hold percentage up to about 30%, I do believe. And that's gonna put you into auto rotation mode. The auto rotation time is gonna be how long after you hit throttle hold is it going to allow you to spool back up into auto rotation. Um, I set mine pretty pretty long because I like to do um, high autos from way up there. 25 seconds works out perfectly fine for me. Uh, the timing, you know, your typical timing is going to depend on what motor you're using. PWM frequency, this is going to be a little bit different than, uh, you know, than most people are used to seeing. Number-wise, it's going to be the same, but this thing is designed to run at a pretty high uh at pretty high kilohertz so i've had good luck just leaving it at the default settings for the internal gov i know it's kind of like holy cow 30 kilohertz but seems to be working pretty good brake mode uh yes they did spell brake <laughs> wrong uh brake mode obviously we don't need uh you can reverse the direction in here so this is your running mode forward or reverse Thank goodness, I guarantee for me, every helicopter that I build, I'm going to get it backwards. Auto rotation speed up. This is when you hit throttle hold and you bail back out into your auto rotation mode. How fast does it spool back up to full speed? And then whether you want freewheeling in the ESC on. This is a really, really big deal. Definitely leave it on. What freewheeling does, it allows you to run a very low uh, throttle output and the speed controller won't heat up and get hot. I don't want to name any names, but there are some couple of pretty common speed controllers that don't have this mode. And you can really, if you drop your throttle percentage down to say about 50% or 60% and really start honking on the heli, uh, you can build up a bunch of excessive uh, heat in the speed controller. This keeps that from happening, which is awesome. We have a restore default mode, which will restore it um, all back to default. And that is it. It's literally that easy. This thing's all programmed now. The only thing I have to do is go into my V control and set the throttle calibration, which if anyone has some uh, questions about that, I'll do another video once I get it all hooked up. Cool. Thanks, guys.